I'm going to tell you about Leonard. Now, Leonard is in his kitchen and he's bent over the kitchen table. And on the kitchen table in front of Leonard, he's got 12 of them little green plastic trays that you get from the pound shop, all lined up. Um, because I work, you know, with words and my body, the natural thing to do is to try and play around with, 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 with sound to, to go with that. And I've done some work with a musician called Laurel Swift. We've made a show called Under Her Skin. Um, and I was really excited about where the music that she played on double bass and fiddle could take the story and take me. Um, so I thought, well, I'd quite like to go deeper into that, but in a different way. So that's when I lighted on the idea of using a loop pedal and creating sounds live uh, and, and mashing those up with pre-recorded sounds and to see where we'd go. Uh, and John Wright, the director that I work with, thought this was a really interesting idea. Now, you might wonder why Leonard's doing this. It's because Muhammad Ali doesn't like some Pharisees. Uh, I got the idea for the story and the idea for the form. Kind of separately, they did inform each other a little bit. The idea for the story came as an image um, of, a, of a man in a bed. And I knew that he was present in the room that he was in, but he was also kind of absent. Um, and I think the reason I was thinking about that is because um, I'd lost someone very close to me around that time, and I'd been to visit them on the day they died in the hospital, and it was a strange feeling of, um, of someone being present in the room, but already halfway out of the room. It's a strange feeling. So, so I got an image of someone who's present but also absent, and that wouldn't go away. And eventually that turned into a man who was in a very deep coma, and that offered all sorts of exciting possibilities for my imagination. And when Leonard is absolutely sure that he's got all the sunflower seeds out of the white tray, he puts all of the trays into an old milk crate, he hefts it, he walks upstairs, and when he gets to the landing, they can hear it coming. So the show's called Lost in Blue, and uh, it's going to be on on June the 5th at the Roundhouse in London as part of the Last Word Festival. Really excited about that in the Sackler space. It's also going to the Edinburgh Fringe. It's going to be at Summer Hall from, I believe it's the 16th to 28th um, of August. And then it goes on an autumn tour in October, which is a national tour. Um, it's just come off a spring tour as well. So it's starting to really bubble and fizz and tighten up and get quite exciting. So I'm really looking forward to bringing it to the Roundhouse in June and taking it off from there.